Tony Blair was staggered after Gordon Brown publicly took a stand against the UK joining the Euro. Peter Mandelson claimed in an interview for a BBC documentary, the fourth installment of Blair and Brown, The New Labour Revolution, is broadcast tonight on BBC Two at 9pm. The episode will look at how Tony Blair stood beside America and their war against terror in the wake of 9-11, which provoked widespread criticism from the British public and Parliament. The programme will focus on the British intelligence reports suggesting the existence of nuclear weapons in Iraq. New Labour's decision to publicise those findings, led to a massive media frenzy and the death of weapons expert Dr David Kelly by suicide some months later. Previous episodes of the show chart the meteoric rise of New Labour under the stewardship of Mr Blair, and the political rivalry that began to form between the Prime Minister and his close friend and Chancellor of the Exchequer Mr Brown. One source of disagreement between the pair was whether the UK should join the European single currency, with Mr Blair in favour and Mr Brown opposed. Mr Mandelson revealed that Mr Blair was staggered after Charlie Whelan, Mr Brown's spokesman, told journalists at the Red Lion pub in Whitehall that Britain would not join the euro. Mr Mandelson, who was Labour's director of communications during the party's rise, said, when he learned of this Tony was absolutely staggered. He and I spoke and he said, I've got to speak to Gordon about this and he got switched to find him the Chancellor to talk about this. And in the Treasury he was put through not to the Chancellor but to Charlie Whelan. And he said to Charlie, what on earth is going on in this? Mr Whelan also explained, unfortunately Tony Blair wasn't quite prepared for this, he was ringing me up and I was in the pub, the Red Lion. Mr Blair said, what's going on Charlie, what's going on? You're saying we're not going in the Euro. And I said, well we're not. In the same episode, Mr Blair stood by his belief that the UK should have joined the Euro and stressed that he considered it the country's destiny. Queen Margaret A. II to bring Karen Blixen's image creating worlds to life in Netflix film.